to access the novel settings from your novel, you want to go into your novel and then you can either click on the cog icon directly or you can click on the name of your novel and then open novel settings. So like this and it takes you to the novel settings. Once there, there are four pages. The first is metadata. This might look familiar to you. It's very similar to the options that you saw when you created your novel. Here, you can rename your book, change your author or pen name, change the series that the book is under, create a new series for this and index the book. You can also archive or delete your book. Remember that deleting is permanent. You lose your uh, data. That's why it's in red. Archiving your novels is much safer. Uh, you can also upload a cover to your novel that will then show in the novel library. In the next tab, the writing tab, you can set labels for your book, the language, the tense and the point of view. So on the left, you have your labels. We have offered some presets, so scene status and temporal settings, so past, flashback, present, idea, draft, edited, etc. You can change the colour of these labels and rename them to whatever you want and also delete, move them around, all that good stuff. And you can add custom ones. To the right, you can set the tense, past or present, the language. Uh, by default, it's set as US English, so you may want to change that as I do um, or, or not, depending on where you're based. <laughs> uh, you can also, if your book has only one point of view character, set this here. If you have multiple point of views, you might want to do this at the scene level instead. By setting these, if you use AI, this information feeds into the prompts to give you the output of the tense and perspective that you're wanting. Collaboration. During your free trial, and for those who have the specialist plan, you can add collaborators to view or edit your work. If you press the add collaborator button, you can either add an individual by their email address or a team. Uh, this is a group of individuals. You will also be able to see the details of anyone that you've added to your novel and change their access, i.e. whether they're able to view or edit, or you can remove them. If you're viewing this as someone who has been added to a novel, you can choose to remove yourself from the novel in this interface. And finally, we have the export. Here you can export your story. Select the chapters, scenes, acts that you want to export. Choose whether or not you want to export the summaries, prose or both. Choose whether to include the act titles. Um, if you're using Vellum, Atticus, etc. Um, to import the novel afterwards, you would want to disable this. You can also choose whether to include the scene subtitles that you've set and how your scene dividers appear. Once you have chosen your settings, you can click export and then you have the choice to export as a Word document, a Markdown file or a HTML file. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will look at the plan interface within Novel Crafter.